So I'm going to fix this other display that I picked up with the replacement scale that I ordered. And instead of doing my former technique of using heat shrink tubing with hot melt glue in there, so I just decided to design this little part. It's just a small piece of plastic. Okay, and here's how I designed that part. It uses the same bands as the foot that I did, just a much simpler part, a round disc with a hole in the middle, and then I put a bit of a chamfer on the edge, just so it would not dig into the tactile dome switch so much, but there it is. It takes a few minutes to print. And I print it with a brim, and just put the brim side down. I've made these about uh, seven millimeter diameter, and about four millimeter tall, with a hole in the middle. And then they just fit right over there, press fit. I figured I'd do all four buttons. All four have these tactile dome switches. And I figured might as well just build them all up like that. Boy, that's quick. I'll put these parts along with the replacement foot, and I'll upload those to Thingiverse, put a link in the video description. But there you go. That is probably the quickest fix you can do on those. Oh, and then I still have to fix that wire. I'm not sure where that wire got damaged. It was over here, so that's where they damaged the wire. When they put this screw in, there's a post pinched the wire when they put the screw in. So that's what happened. And they tightened it down so tight it just crushed the wire right there. Okay, we've got it all put back together, and with my 3D printed buttons, it uh, works. But yeah, anyway, got this thing working. So I've got two working displays now. Now I just need to see if I can figure out if there's anything wrong with my old scale. So yeah, same problem on both of these. And I, I also fixed the battery wire inside. I uh, cut out the damaged section of wire and then soldered it back together and put some heat shrink over there. And the trick is you have to be careful when you're putting these together. There's this post right here. And then there's also the post. Let's see, where's the switch is right here. There's a post for the switch. And then the, the screw post here. And you need to be careful and have the wire. It comes out of this audio jack here, the power jack. You need to swing it out around this post and then back in and around this post. Yeah, you can see there's a little slot here so that wire runs over here and then you have to loop it around and get it clear of this post. So kind of look down this hole here and make sure you can see where the wire is. There's a red and a black for the battery. I don't normally use the battery. I use my power jack here. If I have to weigh something big, I'll take it outside and put the scale on the, say, on the driveway, and then put the heavy thing on the scale, and then I just use a battery. So my original one, I used small pieces of heat shrink tubing, something like that. I cut a little piece of it about four millimeters long and put that over the pin and then filled it with hot melt glue. 3D print if you got it, or just some heat shrink and hot melt glue, just to build up the surface area a little bit, and then the buttons will work again. Seems to be a common problem with these. You know, they work fine for a while, but then I think what happens, that little tiny pin just wears out that tiny spot on that tactile dome switch, and it doesn't make contact anymore, but making a bigger pushing area, you get more of the dome switch involved and you can make the contact. So I'll show you the scale next. I haven't had a chance to take a look at that yet. Anyway, hope you found that uh, helpful. If you have one of these scales and the, the buttons don't work, try one of those two techniques. If you have any questions, post up in the comments section down below. And as always, thanks for watching.